free to play or delay garbage can't be given away activist screech misogyny journalism hypocrisy not a big deal says the western man but i'm pretty big in japan hallucination dreidel schreier force woke change and then get fired firewalk dev defense digital weight gain sony two shareholders explain gender swap lesbian mrs freeze angry butch asian weightlifting pronoun robot game a disgrace kamala presidential drag race concord dev said call me professor here's your throne and scepter crossdresser ubisoft lie said i don't know maybe square e Nix ask about sweet baby your slop struggles to grab 2,000 necks on 100k one month in Capcom crank that DEI quota you're in a bathtub this is the toaster Stella Blade summer update arrival gaming jiggle physics revival your delusions not my problem firewalk whole studio full of bottoms Kyle the hiss when you speak his name 99k guess who's to blame 80,000 bad reviews greedy apex tied the news strike and halt your education all the games I I play our Asian. How dare you misgender that groomer? Woke movements a cancerous tumor. Steinbaum needs more sensitivity. Pandering to them is diversity. Mainstream media manipulation. Emotional rhetoric escalation. Old hosts misrepresent the news. Cope and seethe, we're just not into you. What do you want me to pay you for ugly? What do you want me to pay you for ugly? What do you want me to pay you for ugly? What do you want me to pay you for ugly? Hello, beta testers. Like and subscribe to join over 99,000 pattern recognizing beta testers. The dying games media is once again angry at their own audience for not being interested in the therapy sessions and psychotic breaks that they're calling articles. Rage bait for engagement. Rage bait for engagement. Short term, of course, because it's obliterating what little credibility is left, showcasing that hypocrisy. And look how frequently they have to move their goalposts to try to cling to something in the way of right when they're already omitting things, because how else would people agree with them? You call people bigots and racists and hate-filled, but who would know hate better than you, games journos, you gold-digging thoughts? So desperate for attention, you'll cling to the pant legs of streamers? Like it's their fault you brought so little to the table that you'll instantly fade from anyone's memory the second your newspaper publication shut down, estrogening all over men that you only hate because of the attention they get that you covet you commie cock sucking art hating and vandalizing fucking nut job sociopaths unfortunately have no one more to be upset with than yourself these losers hate the inanimate mirror for serving its reflection purpose their insecurities everybody else's problem and they might have gotten away with all their self inserts too if it weren't for these meddling kids with ironically more sophisticated tastes than the diaper wearing dyed hair nose piercing and rainbow flag pole dancing cat ladies that sony was stupid enough to hire for a fucking shooter game you needed heterosexuality here and for failing this check you will be consequenced in the only language you speak dollar signs millennial writing insufferable characters forgettable design identity politics soaked pronoun pushes for lectures from talentless inexperienced and out of touch dimwits who are so illiterate that they've confused themselves into thinking that anything matters in a game more than gameplay the meme where conan says i haven't even touched the controller during god of war's long ass intro free to play or delay your slop can't be given away and what a hilarious rebuttal it's been indeed if we don't like it and won't pay you then we must be racist okay doesn't seem to be working on the beta testers that you're paradoxically begging money from so when we unveil the force field technology that we've backwards engineered from the live normie that we caught don't be surprised if we use some of that woke technology back on you. Fair is fair, right? Sadly, the woke normie in this hypothetical did not survive the experiments. The camera not allowed to get close in First Descendant for me is ruining not only picture opportunities, but I'd be making some machinima Halo style in a heartbeat. Remember Halo? 
you know, I guess First Descendant's gonna leave some of that money and free promotion on the table, but who's to say that they don't have enough of it, even though they only made Ultimate Bunny available? When the game launched in their pre-season, Dia likes Luna enough to say that she'll be getting her even without seeing the kit, and I'm glad that girly girls can unapologetically uh, exist in a mainstream game these days. As I love to say, Woke thinks that Overwatch could have launched the way that it is now with whatever this is. No, it needed the Tracer, Widowmaker, Mercy, Sex Appeal, and if you can't understand and accept that from an objective perspective that recognizes the majority of players being straight, white, or male, then take it up with whatever flags you've got in your bio. Dota and Fortnite were the first to battle pass, and both of those games were free. But Concord, the latest DEI slop, seems to expect backpats for a beta so abysmal that they could barely retain 2,000 people's interest. And I remind you it was free. Free First Descendant pulls 100,000 players daily on one platform a month after its launch. Marvel Rivals and its Jiggle Physics waifus pulls 50,000 players in its closed beta. Closed as in not open, as in not everybody can jump in. I remind you, 2,000 barely pronoun game, 100,000 daily, one month ain, 50,000 Closed beta, man. Ugly, flat-chested, masculine women with big jaws, angry black and Asian ladies and men written insecure because of your sad hang-ups and miserable experiences that you feel need to be injected into this game. That's not what anybody's looking for in their escape entertainment. No one wants to read your diary, bro. But I thoroughly encourage whatever brain-damaged cuck is running Sony to continue wasting money on trash like this to then go on lecturing people about what they need to do. I'm sure it's going to work out real great for you. I could go over Concord's devs and how they of course defend the fattening of Silent Hill 2's Angela for a remake as if the remakers need to worry about character modernization. But Silent Hill has some of that sensitivity consultation. Throw your hands up. Oh shit. So of course these Entities will form rank to defend jobs that they do so poorly and clash so blatantly with gamers and paying customers on that some were actually laid off following their forced androgyny Pokemon Go fiasco. I'll repeat this again. These saboteurs are deliberately doing their job so poorly, deliberately, because of their political crusade, deliberately, that no human may ever have their job again. They're doing a job so badly, deliberately, that barely trained AI can outperform them. They will out appeal, which will make more money. How'd that make the future of this job feel? Not so good, Mr. Stark. And this kills the job for any humans rolling into the future. That's how you should regard these entities. And they don't care because perpetuating their cult's message is the only thing that they seek validation for. What's really sad is it's too late for these Western studios. The productions will be cheaper and it'll make more sense to replace than to repair. It's all gonna burn, which is ironically exactly what Woke wants as well in their culture war. I read the comment sections and I'm delighted to see people making their feelings clear. The shills can continue to ignore, but eventually they dance in whichever direction the wind blows. Earth Defense Force forced to acknowledge and look into dropping the stupid login requirement is exactly the way things should go. Congratulations. A gamer could teach AI inside of a week how to be more informative than the average dumpster diving journalist who needs to rage bait or say something insane or racist to get people interested in whatever they got going on. This is why Kotaku racists are losing their mind. IGN, Kotaku, PC Gamer, The Gamer, whatever other othering publication you know. 
They represent the life story before a recipe that you're looking up. You just want the ingredients, what you need to do, the order you need to do it in, but they got to tell you about all of their problems and political issues. Some people, they just want that air fryer temperature and the time they need to key in. And you might as well call AI DMX because it's going to give it to them. Thank you for watching. What do I need to say about any of these things? You know, Flintlock Day One Discount Ass Game. My God. It's your fault. It's your fault. Thank you for liking and subscribing to push these out. Patron sponsors, love you. Catch you soon. We have things to play now. Feels pretty interesting, doesn't it? I need to get a computer to run them. Also, somebody be on the lookout for that kind of uh, VTuber that I want to get made. I think it'd be so cute. And then do I need a VR rig to be able to move the arms and dance and shit? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. That damn it.